social distance right there. Okay, Give your brother a hug. How's it going, Dallas? Are you kidding me? No! We're here! This is my city now. Amen! Smart man! Well, I'm a little north, Frisco. Anybody where Frisco's at? Absolutely! But I am so happy to be with all of you today, you American-loving, patriot-loving, honoring Americans! Show of hands out there, how many of you actually walked away from the Democrat Party? Wow. I remember when I first saw Brandon's first video. Oh, they already put their hands down. Damn it. Y'all seen Brandon's first walkaway video? Yes. And I reached out to him and I said, man, I love your message. I really believe that God is going to use that and use you and create a mission to help transform this country. And you are proof. You are proof. Thank you for having a brain. How many of you are tired of the lies? Me. I think that's what got Brandon pissed off more than anything is that he realized that mainstream media was intentionally lying to him. Yes, they are. How many understand you've been lied to? Yes. And they continue to lie, not just about you, but about our president and anything that matters to him. Yes, they do. We are the resistance yes, to are. their lives. We will you win. are the resistance to their lives. Right. You defy everything that they say about Donald Trump. That's right. They say he's racist. No, Look at all the colors up in here today. They say he's a homophobe. Look at the LGBT signs up in here today. They say he wants to destroy this country, that he hates America. Their latest absolute sham is that he was bashing veterans. I know. Isn't that pathetic? Are you kidding me? He gave a whole patriot He's been more patriotic, done more for the VA, done more for veterans, honoring our veterans, standing and shaking the hands of every single one at that event. He loves and supports our veterans. Yes, he does. Yet what did Biden do? Nothing, absolutely nothing for 50 years. He's for the eight nothing. years 50. that Biden was VP, they decimated our military. They ignored our schools. They let gay people die. They sent billions in cash to our enemies. Can you believe that's the best that Democrats have to offer for our country? Is Joe Biden? No, he's worthless. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace. Meanwhile, we've got a president that's done more for the black community in this country, the Hispanic community in this country, LGBT rights in this country, Amen. pushing school choice, Yes. and he's truly doing what he said he was going to do. Absolutely. How do you believe and agree that he's been making America great made. again? Yes. And then we got hit with the Chinese coronavirus. Fake. I personally believe it was unleashed. Oh, it was. On purpose. It was. I, 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 I personally Anthony believe Fauci, it was on purpose. Roommates at Who do you think is going to hold China accountable? You think Joe Biden's going to do it? Anthony Fauci was with George Soros. You think Kamala Harris is going to do it? Hell no. She put all the blacks in prison. Will Donald Trump do it? That's the leader that we need in our country right now. Yes. Now, this is Texas. Texas is purple, friends. There is a big push by local politicians and wannabe politicians to turn Texas blue. No way. Is that going to happen on your watch? Hell no. So what are you going to do about it? We will win. We will yes. win. We will win. How many of you we talk to family and win. friends on a regular basis? How many of you get shunned by family and friends on a regular basis? I don't How many of you don't care and you me. keep doing it anyway? I tell them to shut up and listen. 
You know, the, a beautiful, the beautiful thing that I love so much about Brandon's story. You probably heard the story about his former babysitter that never gave up just trying to share truth with him. Never gave up. Even though he cried and thought all of us Trump supporters were evil when Trump won, he, you've heard the story. He railed, he cried, he thought we were just disgusting individuals, those that supported Trump in 16. But that woman never gave up trying to reach Brandon. That's the secret, never give up. She continued to share and send him little nuggets of truth. And eventually, one of those nuggets took root in Brandon. Thank God. Praise yes, thank the God. Lord. And now we have this amazing mission, this movement, this walkaway campaign that has absolutely transformed so many people's lives because that Amen. woman refused to give up on Brandon. So I share that to say, don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your friends. Don't give up on your loved ones. Do not give up. Do not give up. Because you never know who could be the next Brandon Strzok and start something like this. Amen. How many of y'all love to stand for our anthem? You love to salute our flag. Our flag stands for the Republic. You are the Republic. And then I love it says one nation. Under God. I told Brandon two and a half some years ago when I first met him, I said, I believe God is going to use you in a powerful, powerful way in our country. How many of you in here are thankful that we've got God on our side? That we've got truth on our side? And God is willing to use anybody that just says yes to him. So say yes to truth. Say yes to God and say yes to being the change that this country needs. Because we need four more years of President Donald Trump and his leadership. We need four more years of him standing up for America first. We need four more years of him building and rebuilding our economy. We need four more years of this president. Four more years, four more years, four more years. That is what we're fighting for. That's what we're fighting for, friends. And I truly believe that if we do not stop, if we push, if we don't give up, if we share on social media, if we all do what we can, I truly believe that we will get four more years of President Donald J. Trump. You are the Republic, you are the Warriors, never stop fighting, God bless you!